What's going on, y'all? It is your favorite Auntie Mo, and we are back for another episode review of Catfish, y'all. This is season eight, episode three, Spark Kayla and Maritha. Before we get into this review, y'all, if you have not done so just yet, go ahead and subscribe to your Auntie channel. What you waiting on at this point, okay? Um, as always, before you leave, let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down and then hit the notification bell so you will know whenever I upload new content. Y'all, your auntie is on her old school shit tonight, y'all. I'm sipping on me a little bit of tequila rose. <laughs> Feeling like somebody drunk old auntie for show, show, y'all. I'm ready to give y'all this review because I'm tired. I'm tired. Girl, I feel like a goddamn Hebrew slave. I'm so damn tired. Woo! My body is weary. But hopefully y'all are ready for this review because I'm ready to give it to you. So let's get right on up. All right, y'all. So we have Kiana. Kiana is calling basically behind her wife's back. Her wife is Spark Caleb. Her and Spark Caleb been together for 12 years, married for two years, yada, yada, whoop, whoop, whoop. Now, um, Kiana says that this chick named Maritha hit Spark Caleb up in her DMs on Instagram about two years ago on her birthday. Tell her, surprise, bitch, happy birthday. I'm your sister. <laughs> bitch, <laughs> Cheers. And Spark Hater was like, bitch, what? Wait, hold on. Never heard of you. Time out. What the hell is going on? Now, a little bit of uh, background on Spark Hater. Now, her and um, supposedly Maritha have the same father. They don't have the same mother, right? Now, daddy got a couple of other kids out here. We're going to get to that in just a little bit, though. Now, Sparkayla and her dad are not close. She has tried to ask her dad before if she, if he knew who this chick Maritha was, but daddy never really got back in contact with her, right? Now, Kiana thinks that Maritha's out here trying to come up or clout chase or whatever. I can't stand that word, clout chasing. I can't stand Stand it. Oh, I can't stand it. She feel like she out here trying to come up on some kind of way because on um, Sparkayla's Instagram, her Sparkayla and her wife both work on a lot of films, a lot of TV shows, and different things like that. And so she has a lot of pictures with a lot of different celebrities. And so she's thinking that maybe Maritha's seen Sparkayla's Instagram, seeing that she's got these pictures with all these different celebrities, that she's got some money, and that she finna come up if you my sister, whatever, right? Now... Kiana says that from the get-go, Sparkayla was really open to, to get to know her, to welcome her in, to be her sister, and, and all of this. So from the get-go, you know, she kind of knew something was off. Now, mind you, they were supposed to have met a couple different times, but each time, Maritha stood their ass up. One time, she actually came to their city and stayed where they was. She stood their ass up. Another time, they went out there to Vegas, where she is, on Sparkayla's birthday to visit her, and the bitch stood their ass up again. Now, Sparkayla says that basically she's an only child because her other um, two sisters that are her dad's kids, because again, that's how they're related, it's through her dad. She's not cool with her other two sisters. She don't talk to them and she don't really talk to her daddy. So she's never really got any real straight answers as to who this girl could really be. So Cammy and Nee finally get to the house and basically Sparkayla is surprised as hell that they end up showing up because wifey didn't tell her but to the last minute that she done called Catfish because she like, look here, I'm sick of you talking to this female that you ain't met up with, you ain't seen nothing like that. We need to get down to the bottom of this. So eventually Sparkayla was like, all right with it because I'm I'm tired of this bitch springing me alone. I need to know if she really my damn sister or not. So Neve asked, have you ever talked to her about your father? She says Maritha, when she first hit her up, she didn't ask her what her dad's name was. Now, look here, black folks, y'all, let, let, let me wrap a taste for you for a minute. Don't, when we hear somebody say that they are cousin or, or I know you from a da da da, what's the first thing we ask? Who your people them? Where you from? What's your last name? Who your mama them? You mean to tell me this chick said she your sister and you didn't ask her what your daddy name is? Girl, that's on you. That's strike number one on you. Now, another time they were supposed to talk, they um did a Skype, FaceTiming. You know what I'm talking about, FaceTiming thing right there. It was only for a few minutes and it was dark in the room, so they didn't make no good facial contact, so she couldn't even really see who she was. She claimed she was on a janky Android phone with a janky charger. Bitch, what? All kind of sketchy. All kind of sketchy shit. Now, Sparkava says she's been reaching out to her dad to try to ask her dad, you know, do you know who this chick is? Daddy ain't hit her back. 
Daddy ain't got back in contact with her. Apparently, Daddy got his own problems with her mama. So, therefore, he ain't talking to her. Look here, sir. Daddy. What the hell Spark Kayla got to do with what the hell you got going on with Mama Spark Kayla? That's still your child. Ain't no reason why you got to blow her off because you got issues with her mama. That's for twins, y'all. That ain't got nothing to do with her. And then she got two other siblings that she don't even talk to. They all got the same daddy. But that child. Now, Spark Kayla say when she was 10 years old, she was at a cousin's um, birthday party. Her dad showed up with these two little girls that were younger than her. She said real pretty little girls, and her dad introduced them as her sisters. So she was like, wait a minute. They my sisters? Like, what do you mean? She said she's only seen these females twice in her whole life. Her other two sisters that she's not close with. Now, I don't know if they got recent sister shit going on or however it go, but she said they got sister issues going on and they really not on speaking terms. They don't talk. They not close. However that situation go. So she ain't close to them. Don't talk with the daddy. Mom don't know what the hell going on. And this girl claimed to be your sister. But then again, for two years, I done went and knocked down this bitch dope by now. Or I done stopped talking to her ass if you claim to be my sister. But I can't meet up with you in no kind of way. Oh, no, bitch. It was all kind of red flags up in here. Now, Sparkayla claims Maritha told her she's been looking for her ever since she was young. She said that her mother told her that her name was Sparkle, and that's all she knew. She'd been looking for her on MySpace and all these little apps and shit back in the day. So she never, you know, she never could find her. So the time that they were supposed to meet up in Vegas on Sparkayla's birthday, she never showed up, never hit their ass up, didn't hear from her ass for 21 damn days. Then finally she hits their ass up with some old inspirational quote or hits Sparkayla. I say they because her and her wife, you know, they like this. They, they a unit, goddammit. So she hits her up finally afterwards with some inspirational quote quote or whatever it ended up reeling her back in and so she ended up being cool with this girl again now that's strike three right there i don't like, oh, no, hell no it's too much going on with you i don't trust a damn thing you out here doing so kim and eve go and do their research right they search for her pictures and they don't find nothing they search her facebook page and they say the last thing that she posted was 75 weeks ago around the same time that she ended up sending spark kayla a message and she ain't posted nothing since then, right? And the only other friends or whatever she got on there, the only other one girl, she posted something around the same time that she started up that page. So they like, oh, hell no. It's some sketchy shit going on here. They search her phone number. Don't find nothing with the phone number neither, right? So they end up doing a Google search on her ass, right? They end up finding a Maritha in Las Vegas with this last name. Of course, they blurred the last name out, right? And she has a relation to some chick named Patricia with the same last name. So Neva's like, oh, wait a minute. What are the odds that this is the same Maritha that's in Vegas where this bitch is from? We don't know her last name. This could be it. And she related to a chick named Patricia. We don't know about the Patricia shit. We don't know if that could be her. But bitch, we're going to put this in our back pocket, though. Afterwards, they end up calling Sparkayla's sister. The first one they called, child, her name was Mika. Mika say, uh, yeah, I know. I didn't heard about this chick, Maritha. She hit me up, too. Uh, but I don't know who she is. My daddy ain't never told me nothing about her. I ain't fuck with this chick. I don't know about her. Like, uh, whatever y'all find out, let me know. But, uh, I ain't even tripping, right? Then they end up calling the second sister, Dejanae. Now, look here. Time out. I'm like, look here. Y'all don't need to do no damn DNA test. Y'all are sisters. Sparkayla, Maritha, Dejanae, and Mika. Mika probably short for Sianta Mika or something like that. Mika... Nay Nay, Day Day, and KK. Y'all are sisters. <laughs> Bitch, you are the sister, goddammit. Just for them damn names alone. I ain't coming down on your names, but come on. Let's let's call let's call a spade a spade. There was some very specific sister names that y'all got. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Trust me, I'm pro-black. I'm with it, you know, all day, every day. You know what I'm saying? But Mika Nay Nay. Day Day and JJ, a Nay Nay, Ray Ray, y'all are all fucking sisters. Dejanay say, uh, I done asked my daddy about her already. Daddy say he don't know who the hell she is. That is not his baby. Uh, 
And after that, I ain't had nothing to do with her. Uh -uh, that ain't got nothing to do with me. Plus, uh, after I talked to homegirl, lo and behold, it's a fake page on Instagram that's made up about me. Got me on it. Got my son on it, whatever. Because I'm a little lone. You know, I'm a, I'm a little known in Oakland. My bad. I fucked it up. I was trying to stay in character. I'm a little known in Oakland because, you know, I do microblading. I do lashes. You know, I keep bitches popping 24-7. I need to give me some damn microblading done. These goddamn brows right here. I keep drawing these hoes on. I do microblading in Oakland and all of that. So, you know, a couple bitches know me or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So, it was a fake page that was made up about me and so they went and looked at you know Dejanae's page homegirl popping Dejanae bitch give your auntie a discount on some goddamn micro blade girl you know I need them but uh she say um if y'all find out whatever y'all find out let me know but uh yeah my daddy say he don't know who the hell she is that ain't his baby so after they talked to both the sisters and he was like look here so uh that sister kind of like a local celebrity Spark Kayla and her wife be kind of like little celebrities or whatever. What other angle would this chick have to try to get up on her like that if she wasn't trying to be out here coming up and, and clout chasing? Ugh, I hate that word. Whatever, you know, trying to come up. Maybe she is out here trying to do this. You know what? Let's go back and holler at Spark Kayla. Let her know the shit that we done found. So they go back to Spark Kayla house. Spark Kayla's like, okay, what y'all find out? Lay this shit down. I need to know right now. And he said, bitch, hold on. Let me tell you what I found that though. We searched the numbs, couldn't find none. Searched the bitch, couldn't find none. But check this out. We did a Google search on her ass. And when we did a Google search on her ass, it turns out it's a Maritha. This the last name. She related to some chick named Patricia. This the last name. And they both in Vegas. Spark Kayla like, wait a minute. You say Patricia. Her mama named Pat. Bitch, they need what? Her mama named Pat. Oh, Pat short for Patricia. Boom. Bingo. We got action. This bitch right here. So, um... Ain't nothing else for us to do but call this help to see what the hell is going on. Spark Layla, shit. I call her Spark Layla. <laughs> Spark Layla said, get that bitch on the phone. Because I got, we, we got to know. Sunise said, all right, fucking call her ass. They end up calling Maritha. She picks up the phone, child. Look here, time out. I love it. Every time they call somebody and they answer the phone, Cammy got the camera like this. Do they pick up the phone? She's like, oh, bitch, they answer. That's what her eyes look like every damn time. Oh, bitch, they pick up the phone. <laughs> Holding that camera every damn time. So, child, she pick up the phone. Cammy eyes get big in the motherfucker. Like, nigga, what the fuck you say? He was like, look here. This Neve, I'm a catfish. I got your sister Spark Kayla right here. I got my homie Gary, uh, Cammy right here. And Spark Kayla wife right here. We trying to find out what the hell, what's good, what's popping. You know, you say this your sister. We trying to give y'all the opportunity to meet up. It's on me because I got it like that. What's up? You come to us, we come to you. What's good? What's popping? She like, oh, I'm nervous. I'm scared. I don't want nothing to happen, and I don't want to hurt you. And and oh, I just don't know. Neve, like, look here, bitch. Uh uh, <laughs> uh uh. We not for to do that. What you need? You need a plane ticket? We'll fly your ass out there. We'll come there. What, what, what you need? Gas money? Bitch, what's your gas app? I will cash up your ass. Thirty dollars, twenty dollars on gas right now. Don't tell me. Don't don't give me no shit. You trying to get here, we gonna get you here. You trying to miss your sister. You trying to see your sister, what's good, what's popping. You finna get on this goddamn plane, train, or automobile and get your ass here. She was like, all right, cool. Well, I can drive out there tomorrow and um, see me the address y'all gonna be. And he was like, all right, bitch, I'm finna say, like, look here. <laughs> Don't make me pull up at the grass at your mama house, bitch. I come to your house. So they hang up the phone or whatever. Spark Hater, like, look here. If this happen, don't show up this time. I'm going to be after her ass with razor blades and lemon juice. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> so they end up going to the park the next day, meeting up with uh, Maritha. Cammy, nervous as hell, making Sparkayla nervous as hell, trying to end up getting that guest who show up. Fucking Maritha. It's really Maritha. It's really her. And might I say, baby, her goddess locks were popping. There was not a hair out of place, baby. Them goddess locks was all this black girl magic. It was beautiful. Showing up beautiful. So, but then again, when they showed up, they was like, okay. Bitch, so you was you? So you really Maritha? It was really her. Everybody was shocked. They were like, oh. And, and Sparkayla, she was like, oh. I want to hug you, but I want to choke shit out you at the same time. But I want to hug you, but then I want to squeeze the fucking knife out. Like, woo, who is, I 
I know you, but who the hell is you? So, Maritha apologized, and she said, you know, I understand that, you know, the shit that I did was, like, real sketchy or whatever, and, and I apologize, but it's just a lot more going on, a lot you don't know, and I didn't want to hurt you or nothing like that. And he was like, mm, so what was the whole thing with the little Skyping and, and the video chat? Like, what happened with that? She said, well, I had a janky phone, and I had an Android, and, you know, um, I, it just didn't work. It just really wasn't a good time for me, and he was like, Mm. So what about when you went down to where they were, San Diego? Did you really go down there? She was like, yeah. Can you say, so you went down there and then you left? Yeah. <laughs> Let me tell you why I fucks with Neve. This is how Neve calls you crazy. He says it in the kindest way. Don't you see that's a little the strange behavior? <laughs> Start using that in 2020. I ain't finna call bitches don't crazy no more. Bitch, you got strange behavior. And when he does it normally, he does it with the head and the hands like this. Bitch, he's saying your head ain't screwed on too fucking tight. <laughs> That's strange behavior. <laughs> so then after that, Neve said, okay, so what's your daddy name name? What's your daddy name? She said, okay, my name, my daddy name is Terry, such and such. Nigga, is that your daddy name? She was like, Yep, that's my daddy's name. Okay, so y'all got the same daddy name. So like what the fuck, man? What's going on? Like, why you ain't meet up? We're like, what's going on? So Maritha says four years ago, she was talking with her uncle, and her uncle ended up spilling the spilling the beans. Nigga's probably drunk or high. Something like, look here. You got a sister. Her name is Sparkala. All right. Your daddy them lying to your ass. <laughs> this nigga done went and spilled all the goddamn family secrets. So she said ever since then, she had been looking for her, but she could never find her. So Neve asked, like, look here, I got a homeboy work at the DNA center down the street. Y'all want to go down there and take a DNA test? Like, right goddamn now? Like, we, like, what's popping? What's good? Oh, uh, goddamn, Maritha ass going to say no. Neve say, bitch, no. Fuck you mean no? I just cashed out your ass money to get here. Now you ain't trying to finish up what the hell we trying to do? What the hell is you saying? Girl, Maritha claims that it's a lot more you don't know. I don't want to hurt your feelings, but um, there was a comment or something that my dad made. He said that you were not his daughter. Sparky ain't like, bitch, who, me? Oh, I know you fucking lying. I know that nigga my daddy. Uh, I don't know what the hell he told you, but yeah, that nigga my daddy, you might not be his daughter, but I know I'm that nigga daddy. So, uh, damn all that. We finna go down here and take this. We for real, for real finna go take this damn DNA test right goddamn now. Because I finna prove to you and his monkey ass that, uh, nigga, surprise, baby on board, you got another one. Try so they go take the DNA test, end up getting the results back, and they are 99.8% sisters. Half sisters. Chai, you are the sister. They are half sisters. So she done had this whole nother sister for 30 something years. She ain't even know nothing about. This damn daddy goddamn got these other sisters going at these other sisters on a sister. They don't even know that's a real sister that's trying to connect with her sisters all on account. Cause your daddy was out here laying it low and spreading it while you gonna tell this girl that she not your daughter. But then you gonna deny being the father of this other girl instead of denying it, even if you didn't know that that was your baby. How about you say, I'm not sure. I don't know. You know your daddy was out here laying it low, spreading it wide, laying my hat wherever I felt was my home for the night. I'm sorry. Look here, at this point, you know, we forgive you. We not gonna hold on against you because you know y'all ain't get that. But at the same time, like, damn. You can holler at a nigga say what was up. You know what I'm saying? But y'all, they did the um they did the two month check-in. And when they did the two month check-in, y'all, they sitting up there on a Skype together. They sisters, they've been hanging out, they've been kicking it, and they are building their own relationship. They let their dad know, they sent the results to their dad. Daddy still ain't got back in contact with their ass, so that lets you know right there, daddy fucking knew something was up. She said the other two sisters are a little bit more open to meeting Maritha now and trying to build up a relationship with her. So hey, baby steps, look here, I say it like this, as long as you got that, that, that one sister, baby... Trust me when I say you will be fine. And I'm going to leave it at that. Look here, y'all. If y'all seen this episode, if it was anything that I missed, drop it down below and let me know. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And Auntie Mo will see y'all in the next video. Peace out.
what's going on y'all look here if you like this video do me a favor give me a thumbs up share this video comment on this video all of that good stuff and if ain't nobody else told you today i sure enough love you and i sure enough appreciate you